Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb from San Marcos, Texas, where I'm in the flight simulation lab of Redbird Flight Simulators. Now Redbird has been selling sophisticated but affordable simulators to the general aviation market for a number of years now. Well, it's one thing to have good simulation, but quite another to have effective training programs around that simulation, and that's what Redbird has been working on here in the lab for the last year. Here's Roger Sharp to tell us what they've learned during that year and how they're going to apply it to a wider general aviation audience. So, you know, in this experiment that we did, we found out that by integrating the simulation devices that we have into what would traditionally be private pilot or primary training, we've been able to significantly reduce the number of hours that a learner would take in the aircraft to achieve the same level of proficiency that they would if they just used the aircraft alone. Now, this is not intuitively difficult, you know, to realize when we know that the airplane is probably the worst environment for somebody to actually learn how to fly because it, it, it's a noisy environment, it's in three dimensional, it's an assault on their senses and they don't have a stop and playback feature so they can work on the things that were plaguing to them. It just has to keep going at its own pace. The other thing that we found out about this is not only can we reduce the number of hours but we found out that that the materials that have conventionally been used for primary training are not adequate for the modern learner and their needs to understand the depth of knowledge that they need to be competent to fly in the airplane. So we've set about a program to significantly decrease the volume of information so that they are only being exposed to that that is relevant and we are using techniques so that they have a much deeper understanding of that information so they could apply that in the real world. And of course it goes without saying that when you have devices that you can expose people to malfunctions that would be unsafe to expose them to in the aircraft or impractical to do because of training or airspace constraints, we can certainly do that in the simulator all in the hope that at the point that they may need that in their future flying career they have a framework in which they can resolve those problems. When we designed the building, and we, you know, we had the, the fortune, we're fortunate enough that we could design the building from the beginning, we set it up so that um, it was designed entirely with the customer's point of view in mind. And many flight schools are designed with the staff's point of view. Uh, one of the things, for example, you won't see in the flight school side, are there are no CFI offices because the instructors need to be out where the customers are and we've given the customers learning stations. This has improved the interaction that we have with the customers. A customer that is, that is studying information, has a question, never has to go very long before there is an instructor available to help them with that question. All of these change the attitude and the dynamics so that we are focusing on the fact that the customer is here, we have to serve that customer's needs and the instructors have to modify their behaviors to do that. One of the great uh, problems we've had in this industry is people who have advertised a particular hour number as a minimum standard in either Part 141 or Part 61 and then had no ex you know, intention of ever meeting that expectation. And it was never in the, in the buyer's mind a function of what the absolute dollar figure was. But when that dollar figure exceeds by 20 or 30 or 40 or 100 percent, then we have somebody who's really dissatisfied with the process because we intentionally sold them a bill of goods. So by setting it as a guaranteed fixed price up front, we take that dynamic out. And then, of course, that's, that's an incumbent for the provider to be able to do that at a profit to the organization, obviously, and deliver that to the customer at that price.